Good afternoon, YouTubers. Welcome to Trevor's Barking Mad channel. My name's Trevor. <laughs> I bet you didn't guess that. Uh, we're down the beach walking the dogs. Oh, there's Mr. Toto behind me. They've literally just cut the grass. The tractor's just gone. Absolutely loving all the sniffs and smells he's getting. Anyway, this week's vlog, well, sorry, it's a bit shaky. I'm a bit shaky. This week's vlog, back to the matter in hand. Let's go for it. So we'll just say, first of all, I was going to do a part two to the um, EV vlog I did three weeks ago. I know, where's that time gone? I couldn't believe it was two weeks ago last week. I thought, whoops, I'm gonna be very late. But anyway, um, showing all the different, different types of chargers, the speeds, the cost, etc., etc. regen braking, going into the GOM and how that, how that works really, and what it's based on. And, but seven people <laughs> wow. viewed the EV uh, vlog. So I'm not bothering. <laughs> But this week, it's back to the matter in hand, what the channel was originally set up to do and to capture and uh, the next stage. So the matter in hand, excuse the shaky thing, shaky camera, I'm holding my phone as I'm walking Toto. So you may remember very quickly to recap, um, just over two years ago, 2020, when we'd been working from home, just being furloughed, a friend of mine, <coughs> Excuse me, it's just a cough. Toto, a friend of mine said he's going to be watching Robbie Cummings, very famous canal boater, um, on BBC. And that must be, there wasn't much on the telly. I thought, shall I or not? I was, it really was undecided about whether I was going to watch it. I did, I was hooked, basically. I watched all the ones on catch up. I went onto YouTube, watched his YouTube, watched his YouTube channel, and then I typed into the uh, <coughs> YouTube about people moving onto the canals and living on canal narrow boats on wide beams. And there was loads actually that have done it, and it was very popular during the lockdowns. Uh, very safe place to be because you're out. You're not in the city centres, well you can be in the city centres, but you can be out in the countryside and out in the fresh air and everything else. <clears throat> in your own little pod if you like. So, and I just found I fell in love with it. And of course the time, at that time I was doing a sales job, totally over the internet, working from home at the very end, um, before, lot, before being furloughed. And I thought if I did that for three weeks, I did put it three, three, three weeks, three days a week. That would, that would be fine. Um, <clears throat> I actually put it to my then boss at the time. He said, "Well, let's touch base where we know what's happening with COVID, etc." So it, it turned out at the end that I, I took redundancy. So that wasn't an option. <clears throat> so I now have quite a few questions in my current situation: Is would it work? Could it work? And will it work? So on Saturday the 4th of June, I'm, along with friend, uh, dear friend Lynn, we're going up to the Crick Boat Show. It's an annual show all about the canals um, up at Crick. Um, they have the old historic boats chugging by, loads of traders, canal side, and of course you've got the boat builders, you've got the uh, brokerages, you've got the chandleries, everything you could want to do, and this is spinning around a bit, excuse me, Every, anything you can want to do with the canals will be there. <coughs> so also going to use the time to promote the channel, give out a few little freebies, so if you bump into Lindy and myself, and do stop us and we give you a little freebie bag and of course there's a little bit of advertising in it as well <laughs> uh, it should be really fun i've got lots of questions to or not lots but i've got uh, several questions to ask <coughs> boat builders brokerages marinas um what they call garden moorings um which is where usually where farmers 
rent off the canal side of their farmland <coughs> so you can have like a shed there and it's a permanent mooring um, some have electric and water some don't so it's uh, it, and it's a cost I need to look into as well because it's a cost I certainly don't have at the moment I don't pay any rent I don't pay any mortgage very lucky with my equity release so that's the 4th of June that's the Saturday of the Crick Boat Show so one of the things I'm going to be looking into is the expense and I'm going to take this from several channels who have should we say in the last year uh, there's about three I think I'm taking it from um, to get a guide as to what typical cost would be on a narrowboat or a wide beam. be rather interesting to see how that compares with living in a house on equity release of course another question I have is doing Amazon at the moment I'm doing the equivalent of six days a week two two blocks a day if I carry on doing if I still have a need to do that <coughs> sorry then I'm not gonna be doing much cruising around and it would have to be looked into do I need to earn that much money or can I live on a bit less and uh, if so, then how many days could I do go out cruising? It's point to me it'd be pointless having a boat stuck in a marina and being what they call a floater rather than a boater. Where you're just in your boat and it doesn't move. I can't think of anything what reason why because you you've still got the upkeep of the vessel itself, the blacking, the painting, and uh, it's still. Um, the stern thingy, I can't think what it's called. That'll still need greasing and everything else. So <coughs> it, that's not for me. I know it is for some people, but it's, it's not for me. Um, and also you're living on top of each other. It's fine in the winter months when it's really cold and you can hook up to the mains, that, that'll be fine. Um, but uh, for day in, day out, no, not for me. So there's a few questions there with work. Um, would I need to do another job instead? I don't know. Uh, could I work at the marina? Who knows? So <clears throat> there's uh, quite a few questions there for me to ponder over and to put to others as well who might be able to give me some advice. And the other thing is, do you buy new or do you buy and push your boundaries on financial side or do you buy second hand and have a little bit left over in the bank? Um, once again, that's another side of it that I need to ask a couple of boat builders. Um, and I'm looking forward to meeting them. And of course, but the main thing is I'm really looking forward to meeting my newfound friends from YouTube. The vloggers that I follow, the vloggers that I chat to, comments, etc. And, and likewise who comment on my sometimes or reply back to my comments on theirs. Um, be actually really lovely to meet them in person and uh, yeah I think I think it might be a bit emotional with some because uh, yes some are a little bit cheeky some we have a laugh um, but yeah I love their lifestyle I'm very jealous of their lifestyle and uh, let's see if it can happen so I was going to do all of this all in one go. If you can see that behind me, that in the distance is the Isle of Wight. And there's a bit of water in between. That's called the Solent. It is beautiful down here and I do love it. So if it doesn't work out, I'm, I'm not hard pressed by living somewhere lovely because I do, do like it down here. In Gospel, in Hampshire, in the UK. So there we go. So what I'm going to do just before we go to... Um, Gossip Corner, I don't know if there is anything in Gossip Corner, we'll have to find out. I'm going to just put a few pictures and videos of the times that we hired a narrow boat. Um, try and find some of those in the archives and put them up to a little bit of music for you. Thank you very much for watching and let's see what's next.
looking quite beige Got me deep in the haze There's no more compassion, no Raise me I need something fast I need something to last Gossip Corner. I met up with the Worthing boys uh, a couple of weeks ago. That was really nice. Went to Arundel um, and a lovely little restaurant, or a lovely pub restaurant sort of thing, gastro pub called the Old Stables down at Fontwell. And that was really, really nice. Um, yeah, and then had a little uh, trip down to uh, Hotham Park down in Bognor, Bognor Regis in Sussex. And, uh, oh, that was beautiful to walk around. Really was lovely. Lovely day. Um, who else have I met up with? Had a, a lovely catch up with Tracy, ex-boss and also a good friend. Um, haven't been to Bingo for ages, but we did go out for um, a harvest a meal, uh, which was really nice and to have a good old catch up. The time just flew by. And also met up with Lindy and Sally. Um, long time catch up especially with sally um but yeah that was lovely and that was also a harvester oh, like the salad that you get free it's really nice it's even better because it's free but yeah. it's you know what you're getting it's good and it's nice anyway it was a lovely catch up getting all the goss there also met up with friend simon um we met at garson's uh, garden center over in Titchfield in Hampshire. And that was a, a lovely catch up as well. Um, I, I was a bit groggy. I was, I'd, like the doglets, I'd had a bit of an upset tummy, so I didn't eat a lot. But uh, yeah, no, that had um, American pancakes with bacon. Ooh, a bit naughty of me. And maple syrup. It was very nice actually, but I, I left uh, about a quarter of it. It was a lovely catch up. Car had its service, um, which is just three 
cabin filters, but they do do a check up on the battery systems, etc., and give you a written report on it all. And batteries are fine, absolutely no degradation at all. Well, there is, but it's not showing, it's negligible. Um, yeah, and I'm just piling on the miles. <laughs> She's been absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, that's the only reason I'll take it to Nissan because obviously the battery's still under warranty and they give you a full-blown report on the bat both batteries, the 12 volt and the main uh, propulsion battery. Not to forget, I also had the pleasure of Marilyn's company yesterday on two two on my Amazon blocks. So we had a good old catch up, good old gig on it. It was great fun. So thank you very much for coming along, Marilyn. Excuse Toto. So that is it. I've made this one as short as possible because I'm going to split the um, lead up to Crick into about two more vlogs. But you can't wait. And uh, to look into the uh, cost comparison, that'll most probably be in the next one. And uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and share and hit that bell icon ding and uh, then that way YouTube will let you know when the next vlog comes out thank you very much once again stay safe be nice to each other and lots of love bye bye